Hi, this is Susan from the Graceful Lily Market. Um, this is the haul video from when I went to the uh, Pier 1 cl uh, clearance liquidation going out of business, whatever you want to call it. And also I went on one Goodwill uh, trip. So let me start with Pier 1. Now, I realized very quickly that Pier 1 would not be good for reselling. Um, their furniture is 50% off, which is good. Uh, a lot of their stuff is 50% off, like the rugs. Uh, so for personal, I would go to Pier 1 and get those deals. A lot of stuff is still maybe 25, 30, 40. Um, so since we're renovating our house, I did get a few things that were decently priced and some were still too much, but since they're closing, I, there was a few things that I was eyeing for a long, long time. And I was afraid that, you know, uh, this will be what I was told and, and, and what I overheard is that in my, at least in my location, in my area, that this would be their last truck, which arrived this weekend. So, um, so I went actually the, uh, yesterday and there wasn't anything really new, but maybe more of the same thing so um i was able to get some stuff that they didn't have before but uh it's getting slim pickings now and um i think at the end they're gonna lower it more but then you're you don't have much is say if you want to set like a like for example i bought placemats and then i had to go to two different pier ones to get a set so it's getting slim pickings at, at some point, in, at least in my area. So this is my Pier 1 haul. I don't know if you can see that. Let me start with what we needed, the essentials. Well, we just got some, um, a dinette set that is uh, kind of like a straw bottom, straw seating. So, um, my, hu <clears throat> my husband said, well, he was afraid that I was going to get messed up eventually with time sitting. So I got the opportunity to get these and I believe the, these were 25% off. So original price is not on this one, but I know I paid less than $20. No, it was like $15 per pillow and I had to get four. So, I mean, it's not dirt cheap, but it's pretty good. It's like a linen blend, which is what I wanted, which, you know, that linen look and the perfect color. I don't, I'm not crazy about this button, but, um, I mean, this is great. So I don't have to try to sew it uh, or make one. And then these are the uh, straps that tie to the seat. So we got, I got four of those. I had to go to two different stores to get four. So I got that, that. I'm gonna get those out of the way. Oh, and if I haven't mentioned it, my painting in the back, I finally got a frame for it. That was in my last video. I just never forgot to mention it. Um, $20 on Facebook Marketplace. $20 for that huge, heavy, it's wood. Uh, it's old. It's beautiful. It goes with what I wanted. Kind of antique -y looking and it's, I mean, it's perfect for my painting. And I love it. It feels space more. So that's a deal. Facebook Marketplace, if you want to look for larger items, perfect place to look for stuff like this. $20. It's a great deal. Okay. And I saw this. I thought it was cute, like to cover the food. It was $24.99 minus uh, 20 or 25% off. I think it was 25% off. But, um, you know, because my husband's always barbecuing. So this will be cool to cover the food. Um, I currently have those uh, netted ones, which I'm not crazy about. That this would be really cool to have. I didn't push my luck and get several. I just got one. Okay, and then this is the charger that I was keeping my eye on. It's wood and um, $20 each for these chargers. 
has a whitewash and they were 25% off. So since we have seating for six and potentially eight, I got eight of these. And of course I had to go to two different places to get these. So let me put those together. But it, it, it'll be nice on my kind of rustic table. Then I bought one of these, like more for our little uh, kitchen nook, because I this is another one I liked. I don't know if you can see it; it's kind of bright. It has little details here, really nice. Let's see, close there, and it's made out of wood. So I got four of these. They were fourteen ninety five each. So with 25% off, they were like 11 or something like that. So I got four of those, like I said. And I couldn't help myself get this because I saw it in the clearance section plus the sale price. So this is really pretty to put, very fancy. It's kind of like a, what is this, a, um, that potato sack fabric, I forgot right now, I'm going blank, and beading, and even some lacing. So it's very kind of, kind of like the farmhouse look, but you know, a step above, kind of fancy. And this will, I think this will look good either in my dining room table or it's small enough where I can put it in my kitchen nook table. Really pretty. And with those chargers, which whichever I, I put, whichever I choose, it'll go very well with these. So I don't have... Okay, so it was originally $50 for this. Then it was on clearance for $29.88 and then minus 25% off. So I like that buy. And the last thing I got from Pier 1 was this. I splurged a little bit and I got this and it is real sheep skin and I'm going to use this on my um, chair, my uh, office chair and it was originally $100 and it was 50% off, so $50. Still a lot of money, but you're talking about real fur. Now, if you haters don't like um, like fur, real, just think about if you wear Uggs, this is basically the same thing. If you eat sheep meat, goat meat, same thing. If you wear leather shoes, it's kind of life, but I know, it just feels so good. <laughs> But that's it for Pier 1. Um, yeah, that's it. And then for Goodwill, I got a few things. Now, I might be mixing some stuff that I've been going to Goodwill on other trips. So I hope not. Because I have other, another Goodwill video coming. But, let's see. I got this bag of... Someone made these hand puppets. I haven't even opened it yet. For only $4.99. I mean, there's a bunch of them in here. If I could sell each from $5 to $10, I mean, that I'd be making my money back and, and some. So, and I thought they were, I mean, it's so cute. I mean, handmade puppets. I'm trying to get without, I'm trying to get the um, staplers out so I don't ruin the knitting okay well, let me just take one out here I mean look how cute this is one of these yeah these I'm gonna have to wash these there's this one has a stain but I mean that's a little doggy hmm 
didn't realize I had stains. Well, this one's clean. This one's good. I mean, somebody made these. I thought they were cute. For each, you know, I could, like I said, sell them between five and ten dollars. Looks like somebody made them and they haven't been played with. Doesn't have any wear except for that doggy one that had a stain in it. Look at this duck. So, I mean, imagine if I, best case scenario, I sell them for ten dollars. So 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, no, 60. So there's six of them in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, 60. Okay, here's a little rabbit. So I, would, I could make possibly, potentially $60. And I only spent $5 for this bag. So we'll see if that works. I gotta take the staples out of that before I ruin it. Okay, what else did I get? Hmm. And then I, every time I see these, I pick these up because I have a, a Valentine's display where I fill my dough bowl, which is huge, with these uh, jello molds. So I have a bunch of them different styles. Here's another one. A bigger one. This was $2.99. This little one was like 93 cents. Then I saw these. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to sell these. These are $3.99. A little more than I wanted to spend. But maybe I could flip them for $10 to $15. And then had we had the uh, welcome one too. So these are cute. <clears throat> so then I every time I find these, I pick these up. $2.99. Because I'm planning on making a collection of these and putting them out like on a crock. This one was $3.99 because it was bigger. And you know, I thought maybe I was spending too much on these, but I tried looking on eBay to see how much they go for. Um uh they go upwards of depending i don't know how you would determine the age of these because it doesn't have anything any markings but the ones that i saw didn't have markings and they go 10 20 30 dollars and some like because they're old go upwards of 50 dollars so i don't know about that i am not sure and i found this little bird it's like Mexican pottery. Look at the details on that. It was $3.99 and it's marked Mexico in somebody's name. I've seen dishes and stuff made with this. Um, but this is perfect condition. No cracks, chips. It's a really nice big uh, size. Really nice. So I haven't looked for comps on this, but I'm sure it's between 15, 20, maybe 25, depending on how many there are on eBay. Um, maybe the rarity of it can, I can increase the price. I found these boxes. Now I thought it was too much for the boxes, but I mean, it's really, it's wood and um, rope. $7.99 and I got two of them so it kind of reminds me you know what it's not wood it feels like wood it might be wood or hard cardboard it's just painted in the wood color so I can't tell if it's wood or not but I got two of those good for storage in my bathroom maybe I might keep those. Now here's a cigar, like a cigar box for my husband that he wants something for the remote control outside. And um, I'm going to paint it, make it look more farmhouse to match the back patio. This was $2.99 wood. 
and he wanted something to keep the humidity off the remote uh, you know since we live in Florida okay let's see and then I bought three of these cigar boxes because they were only 99 cents each and it's pretty heavy and it's made out of wood this is a Dominican Republic uh, cigar um, but you know some people use this to make handbags um, just used for storage or just to make um, maybe paint it or re uh, wrap it in some um, wallpaper or something to give it the box a different look or well, I like it the way it is for storage so I bought three of these I can sell it maybe for ten dollars each maybe more depending it always depends on the cigar labels and all that you know so we'll see then I found this is restaurant wear it's uh, Homer Lachlan so it's marked I only got it for $2.99 and that is the marking I like restaurant wear it's really thick I should think about buying this for my house, like a set. Then I found these made in Japan. They're a set, and I've never seen this vinegar and oil. I don't know if it was supposed to have a cork, but vinegar and oil. Look how pretty. Luster wear, made in Japan never seen these thought these were nice as a set $4.99 for both and there's the mark for made in Japan I don't know if it's focusing okay now this was only a dollar eighty seven and it was a bag full of somebody's unfinished um, crocheting and I only got it because of this I'm gonna finish it by making a pillow out of it but I'm not gonna finish crocheting it because I have never crocheted before I saw this little guy and so I thought it was so vintagey looking so I'm gonna make a pillow out of, out of him and then this, these unfinished ones, I mean this one I could make a pillow out of it, but this duck kind of looks like it's not finished. I don't know, it might be. So I got it just for that little dog and I'll make a little pillow for my room here. My my pink room slash eBay room slash guest room so that was only a dollar eighty seven okay let's see so I found another one of these uh false graph pictures I I don't know my last video I showed you that I found this plus the basin and um, I found another picture. I might sell this one, but this one was only five dollars. The one that I bought with the basin, they wanted ten dollars for each piece, so I ended up paying twenty dollars and I included it in my decor because I have farmhouse decor. But this one was only five dollars, it has the castle mark, which makes, makes it older, it's very blurry. I don't know if it could focus I don't know it's too bright but anyway I have one of these so I'll see how much I can sell my pie sell it on Facebook marketplace because it's fragile or I just don't want it to break then I got one of these I I shouldn't pick up Linux but sometimes I do and I actually paid too much for this, $7.99. But I love the shape of it. It's unique. 
I'll see if I can sell it at least for 15 bucks. I'll see what the comps are. I didn't check. I should be checking these at the store, but sometimes I just get to picking and getting excited about stuff that I just don't look at comps. But I like Lennox. I don't collect it myself, but I know some people do. So, I mean, now's the time to collect it because it can't, um, the prices are so low right now. Then I got this. I only found the platter. I just loved it because it looked so 50s, 60s, retro, mid-century. $5 for this plate. And it's a vintage Mikasa. It's their Telstar uh, collection. Now it does have a little bit of utensil wear, but I'll just use a little bit of Barkeeper's Friend and see how it comes out. But this is beautiful. I mean, it's so retro. And here's the old Mikasa label. I haven't checked comps, but I could probably get $15 for it. Maybe more if it's rare. Now this I bought knowing that this is not sterling silver or anything. I just always like these. They're like little serving. It's like a serving uh, plate tray, whatever you want to call it. And this is actually not that new. Because it says it's made in Hong Kong by Shelton Ware. Now, this was $2.99. I plan to upscale it. What I'm going to do is chalk paint it. I don't know if you can chalk paint metal. I've chalk painted wood, but metal, I'm not sure. If not, I'll get some paint instead. Maybe some um, spray paint. But I've seen these chalk painted or painted white or creamy white and with a distressed look it will look really cute on a table and um, what a display that would make you could put candles on it so that's for me for my little upscaling that I do now I found this this is really cute I love picking up pottery and this is uh, from Italy, or no, Spain. So it's in Spanish. La Monora Talavera. Espanol. So it's, it's from Spain. $2.99. I liked the, um, the way it was painted. Now, I thought this was a chip. I don't know if you can see that. But it looks like it was meant to be like that. It doesn't feel, it feels, it feels um, that it was made to be like that because there's a glaze over it. But that's cute. I wish I had found another one, but this is really cute. I might keep this. I don't know. I'll check comps. If it brings good money, I'll sell it. Now this, I'm contemplating of keeping. Look how cute this is. It's kind of, to me, it reminds me of a little shabby chic white. It has like the trestle gate thing. And it's a Hager. Which surprises me because it looks a little new. But it's marked Hager. If you can see that. If it focuses. It might be a little too bright. Let me turn down the light. Oop, now it's too dark. I don't know if you can see Hager. But anyway. Okay, so I like this. So I might keep it part of my collection of planters. Because I have a plant stand in my back patio. Okay, what else? Then I just picked up this little dish. Lusterware made in Japan. It's actually a Noritake. It's really cute with the little handles. I believe I don't have the tag on it, but I believe it was a dollar or a dollar ninety nine. So it has the blue purple lusterware 
really pretty. Now, remember back in the early 2000s, it was people were into primitive country. Well, I think that these are coming back. I think primitive is coming back a little bit because I noticed a lot of um, things coming back that look primitive. And I don't know if anybody remembers Warren Kimball, but he had a set of, he's an artist and he had a set of dishes and it was the cat collection. And this is actually from 2000 is what the plate says. So this is vintage, this is 20 years old, but is in perfect condition, nobody used it. They must have used it for, um, for decoration. And each plate, I have four, is a different cat. How cute are these? If I was a cat lover, I do love cats, but I'm not, I'd never own a cat and I'm allergic to them, but I just love the painting. So this set was uh, $4.99 and I think I believe I saw comps for $15 to $25. So that would be good. I, I got to check. It might be more. Um, because now it, these are coming back, people want them. And I even have a Lighthouse collection of plates, which is from Warren Kimball. And I still yet to put that on my eBay, which, you know, I might get good money for that as well. Then I just found some of this tool for crafting. It was $1.99 for this big one. And... $2.99 for three smaller ones in pink. This is like a mauve color and pink. Never used, never opened, so that'll be fun. I think this brand is in a Michaels, I believe. I might be wrong, or maybe even Walmart. But I've seen it before. But this will be for my crafting, so that'll be fun. And let's see what else. I found this precious little angel because I have a kind of a little angel collection especially like with my uh, birthday month so this one says God bless our home like how cute is that if I can focus and it was $3.99 no chips or cracks or repairs so this will go Maybe for sale if I like it too much I might keep it but I'll see I'll check out comps it always depends on comps I buy stuff that I like that is my taste or if I know something's gonna sell f for a lot that I might not like I'll buy it but a lot of stuff in case it doesn't sell I plan to keep now this is another well this is a Christmas one this is uh, Napco this is a, she's a planter, a Christmas planter. Now she does have wear from age, might be from the 50s or 60s. It doesn't have a date, just the napco sticker. And um, she doesn't have any chips, just wear on the paint. But I think it's in pretty good condition. So I'm going to hold on to this um, till close to Christmas, maybe the end of October, so I can list her. What else do I have? So then what we have at our uh, Goodwill is we have this thing they call Treasure Island, where they have all the good stuff behind the glass. And yeah, they do price a lot sometimes, but sometimes you can get a deal. Now this is a gamble I got this Le Cru Cruset is that how you pronounce it? Cruset is French uh, tomato shaped two quart enameled cast iron Dutch oven it's a tomato shape it's brand new never been used it still has this little pamphlet and still has uh, the tag 
So it didn't come with the box, but it's new. And I bought it because I checked comps this time. And they go, if I can learn to close this, they go upwards. First, let me tell you, I, I spent $44.99 on this. But I did take it because I thought it was something special. I looked at it and I was like, mm, that's, that is cute. Then I saw the brand and then I looked it up and they're going upwards between 150 and I saw one being sold for 300 and I don't know why that one was went for more it said it was the original which I don't know what that means um that one was the only thing that was different it said it was the original I don't know what date that would be this one doesn't have a date it looks modern because it's a sticker but um, I have it currently on my eBay store for 150 to see if I can get that or best offer. So I hope to double my money, if not more. And that'll be quick money if that sells. Uh, if not, I'll have to lower the price. But And then this is for me because I've always wanted one of these coffee grinders. It's pretty old and crusty. Um, when I open it, it's, yeah, it's it used to have coffee uh, grounds in there. But this was $20. At first I was like, $20. But then I looked up comps. Yeah, if I wanted one of these, I would have to spend lowest, maybe $30 plus shipping. So these go... Well, with this, with this uh, detailed cast iron part, they go like $50 and up. So I can double my money, but I've always wanted one of these to put in my kitchen for decoration. So for $20, I took that. And then, of course, whenever I see a Boyd's Bear, I have to have it. And this is a duck, actually, with a costume. No, actually, it's... <laughs> I knew it was wrong. It's a bear <laughs> with a duck costume. Isn't that adorable? Now, depending on comps, I will sell it. But I did pay up for this. I paid $10. Has the has the uh, tags. So it was $9.99. Look at this. It has the little sandals. <laughs> I just love these because I used to collect them back in the 90s and they're just so cute and some people just give them away but they're still collectors out there um but yeah sometimes I find them at Goodwill for two three dollars um but sometimes they find one that they believe they can get more than that so they put them behind the glass uh and charge a little bit more I saw a bag of Boyd's Bears which had only maybe four of them in it. And yeah, they, they charged $40 for the bag. I can I could not justify spending $40 on four bears. And actually I only liked one of them in the bag because it was big and then the rest were little. But yeah, if it doesn't sell, then they'll probably put it out on the floor and charge less. But look how cute this is. So I'm gonna check to see if I can double my money and maybe more, hopefully. So I found this, I remember at the last minute when I was at, I thought it was a vintage bag. I mean, I love beading like this. Look at this, and it's perfect. So I was surprised to find, and it was only $1.99, which is, amazes me sometimes because Goodwill prices have been going up. So when I opened the purse, I was, surprised to find there was Tommy Bahama and in my local uh, some of my local Goodwills is they're selling Tommy Bahama samples and uh, I don't know it's, it's like rolls and rolls of their clothing and it's awesome because I mean that's the kind of clothing we, we wear here wear here in Florida very tropical but yeah, I couldn't believe that they only put a dollar ninety nine. I might sell this. I'm not sure. I did look at comps. 
the lowest it went for was $15. It is a profit. I will be making a profit, but I mean, it's so beautiful. I mean, I might not even, I mean, I don't know. I guess I should sell it so I can make money, but it's so beautiful. I've always wanted a vintage purse like this and I could never find one in good condition in my, in my area at least. But yeah, the lowest I've seen is 15 and upwards of $30, uh, depending on the condition. Mine doesn't come with the label. I believe it's new because they're selling um, a bunch of Tommy Bahama new things, even shoes at my Goodwill. But um, yeah, this one did not come with the label, even though it's brand new. It's never been used. Look how pretty that is. If that focuses really pretty if it's on both sides so this is like a wristlet okay and I think I'm almost done because these I gotta shorten these videos because my daughter says they're too long and then just for reference I bought this pattern glass uh, early American pat pattern pattern glass so I can educate myself a little more on some of the stuff that I don't know because I know a lot of Fenton and stuff like that, but there's other br brands that I'm not familiar with. And then this, because I plan to reupholster a chair. So they have step-by-step -step instructions. And they even have my type of chair that I want to use. It's like a Louis chair. I don't know which Louis. Um, but yeah, this they were both each $1.99. Okay, so that's it. For now, let me make sure, because I always miss out on stuff. Oh, look at this. I'm missing some stuff. I got this bear, because it looks really old. It's a da Dakin, Dakin, and it's made in the USA, which is rare. Has a has a number of 1984, so that might be the year. But look how cute this is. And ele it says Elegant by Dakin, Dakin, handcrafted in the U.S. It, it was only $3.99. So I'll see the comps for this. If not, I'll use it as a display in my room because I have I have a small collection of bears and, and dolls that I just love. Uh, that's the kid in me. That, And then I forgot to show you... <laughs> some of the um, Pier 1 finds. This is the Pier 1 find. This is one I had to have. It was still 25% off. It was more than I should have spent. I believe it used to be $69.99. So yeah, I paid up for this, but this is a nice big wooden tray with these, with these beads and beading all along here. I mean, it would make such a nice display on my large dining room table. And I like the colors, like a gray whitewash. And I forgot this. Hold on, I know I have my back towards you. I got this. I had to get it. I wasn't going to get it, but I had to get it. It's heavy. It's a big shell. You know how beautiful this would look outside of my table, on my patio? This was also about the same price as the other one. It was $69.99, I believe, and then 25% off. And then I got these for Christmas, or any time, actually. But these are not real. These are wood. And these were originally $24.99 minus the $25, I believe. But that was the price for each. So you're still kind of paying up. But I've always wanted these. You could put them, I could put them in that same bowl or my dough bowl as decoration. Maybe put it like this with some green greenery. So I really like these and these are made like a of a light wood.
so I almost forgot those. And I thought it. and then the only thing I didn't mention for my, for the goodwill thing is I got one of these. I'm making like a small I'll get rid of this ribbon. I always change it to a pink. So it just reminds me these these um craft things that people make. It reminds me of Victorian era just because of the lace. So I like to put that on my Christmas tree. Let's see what else I have. Then I just got some plates, hand painted plates, $1.99. And these are from Austria. So this is cute. Beautiful. This is the same from Austria. It's just a different $1.99 as well. Focus. It's all hand painted. I looked for stuff like that. And then I just found these authentic coach bags. They're all leather. They were $10 each. So I'm hoping to double my money. They have the serial code, all that. I know my coach bags. I used to have them. I used to have some. This just needs a little cleaning on the on the leather. This is the only one I'm I'm questioning because yeah, it looks authentic. It's leather. The only thing, and it's like an older because of the the coach. The 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 font. The only thing I don't see is that if it has the um, little, little little leather tag. It says it's made in India. But I believe with these little bags, since it didn't have a pocket, they wouldn't have that serial number on there. I'm not sure. I have to look into it, this one. But it came in the same bunch. So somebody was getting rid of their collection. This is another bag. Very retro. I think it was in the early 2000s, maybe the early 2010s. This is a nice heavy purse. It, this one does have the serial number and so forth. Now, this is the only thing that is a little leather. The coloring came up, but I'm hoping just cleaning it up, you know, make it look new again with some leather cleaner. Okay, so then that's it. I want to end this now because, like I said, my videos are getting too long. My daughter tells me to make him shorter because she knows it all. She's 18. Um, okay, so then I just want to thank you all for sticking around for this video for the huge haul. And I hope you enjoyed it. And if you like these kind of videos, um, click on that bell so you can get notified when I do post or upload videos. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and um, if you can share because I'm trying to get those numbers up uh, and I'll keep posting and um, also I plan my next one I plan to do is clean up this room because it's a mess so it's going to be a project and a video in itself so I'll be, I'll be uh, working on that this week so I want to thank you I hope everybody's having a good Sunday bye now